Hello, welcome to News from the Natural World. I'm Savitri D. A federal judge has restored Endangered Species Act protections for the gray wolf. In a decision that addressed three related challenges filed by environmental groups, U.S. District Judge Jeffrey White struck down the Fish and Wildlife Service's decision to remove the Gray Wolf's Endangered Species Act protections. The decision again designates the Gray Wolf as a threatened species in the lower 48 states, with the exception of the Northern Rockies population for which wolf protections were removed by Congress in 2011. In Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming, state governments manage the wolf populations. Environmental groups and animal lovers cheered the 26-page opinion. The gray wolf is an apex predator. Their presence and well-being has a cascading positive impact on many other species in their habitat. The koala has been added to the critically endangered species list by the Australian government. The impact of prolonged drought followed by the black summer bushfires and the cumulative impacts of disease, urbanization, and habitat loss over the past 20 years have led to the decision. The Australian government has pledged 50 million Australian dollars to support the koala and its habitat. Scientists have developed the first fully autonomous biohybrid fish from human stem cell derived cardiac muscle cells. The artificial fish swims by recreating the muscle contractions of a pumping heart, bringing researchers one step closer to developing a more complex artificial muscular pump and providing a platform to study heart disease like arrhythmia. Cockatoos have shown an extraordinary ability to complete a task by combining simple tools, demonstrating that this cognitive ability is not found only in primates. Tool use is rare in animals, particularly compound tools, where two elements are fixed together, such as a spear or an axe or composite tools, where two items like a stick and a rock are used together. In humans, these types of tools have evolved into recreational activities, such as hockey, cricket, or golf, and it was this that inspired the study design. The Goffin's cockatoo, which is known for its problem-solving skills and its ability to use single tools such as sticks to open up nut and seed shells, had to manipulate a ball through a hole into a closed box, and then use a stick to push the ball to one side of the box where it triggers a trapdoor mechanism. Three of the cockatoos figured out how to use the stick to maneuver the ball into the right position to release the treat, showing a high level of tool innovation. For the first time, researchers observed chimpanzees in Gabon, West Africa, applying insects to their wounds and the wounds of others. In a study published February 7th in the journal Current Biology, scientists describe this wound-tending behavior and argue that it is evidence that chimpanzees have the capacity for pro-social behaviors that have been linked with empathy in humans. Pro-social behavior is behavior that acts in the best interests of others rather than just oneself. This wasn't the first time that non-human animals had been observed self-medicating. Researchers have reported that bears, elephants, and bees do it too. What is remarkable is that so far, insect applications have never been observed and that the chimps not only treat their own, but also the wounds of others. Lower income human populations currently face a 40% higher exposure to heat waves than people with higher incomes, according to a new study. By the end of the century, the poorest 25% of the world's population will be exposed to heat waves at a rate equivalent to the rest of the population combined. The study adds to a growing body of evidence that populations who have contributed the least to anthropogenic climate change often bear the brunt of climate change impacts. Babies and children sitting in bicycle trailers breathe in more polluted air than the adults riding the bike that pull them. But trailer covers cut pollution levels in half. Air pollution is a leading cause of death in children under the age of five. Researchers recommend covering trailers for riders in urban areas. One out of three people in a large survey showed signs of exposure to a pesticide called 2,4-D. Research at George Washington University found that human exposure to this chemical has been rising as agricultural use of the chemical has increased, especially as Roundup-resistant plants continue to spread. Out of 14,395 human participants in the survey, nearly 33% had detectable levels of 2,4-D in their urine. Exposure to high levels of this chemical has been linked to cancer, reproductive problems, and other health issues. While scientists don't know what the impact of exposure to lower levels of the herbicide might be, they do know that 2,4-D is an endocrine disruptor, and this study shows children and women of childbearing age are at higher risk of exposure. 
Consumers who want to avoid exposure to pesticide can purchase organically grown food, which is less likely to be grown with weed killers. They can also avoid using 2,4-D or other pesticides on their lawn or garden. The brain has neurons that fire specifically during certain mathematical operations. New findings indicate that some of the neurons detected are active exclusively during addition, while others are active during subtraction. They respond in the same manner whether the calculation instruction is written down as a word or a symbol. The mega drought in the American Southwest has become so severe that it's now the driest two decades in the region in at least 1,200 years, scientists said this week. And climate change is largely responsible. The drought, which began in 2000, had previously been considered the worst in just 500 years, according to the researchers. But exceptional conditions in the summer of 2021, when about two-thirds of the West was in extreme drought, made the period between 2000 and 2021 the driest 22 years since 800 AD, which is as far back as the data goes. The analysis also showed that human-caused warming played a major role in making the current drought so extreme. There would have been a drought regardless of climate change, but scientists estimate its severity would have been only about 60% of what it is. And now, the sounds of extinction. The duel is a canid native to central southeast and southeast Asia. Other English names for the species include Asian wild dog, Asiatic wild dog, Indian wild dog, whistling dog, red dog, and mountain wolf. The duel is a highly social animal, living in large clans without rigid dominance hierarchies and containing multiple breeding females. Such clans usually consist of about 12 individuals, but groups of over 40 are known. It is a diurnal pack hunter, which preferentially targets medium and large size ungulates. In tropical forests, the duel competes with the tiger and the leopard. It is listed as endangered on the IUCN red list as populations are decreasing and estimated to comprise fewer than 2,500 mature individuals. Factors contributing to this decline include habitat loss, loss of prey, competition with other species, persecution due to livestock predation, and disease transfer from domestic dogs. The duel can be found in Tibet and possibly also in North Korea and Pakistan. And here, the duel, sometimes known as the mountain wolf.